The question is about the breathing techniques along with the sun gazing. No, I don't employ any breathing te technique. It is a normal breathing, one continues with that. But slowly the sun gazing will lengthen the breathing process and instead of breathing 14, 15 in a minute, slowly you will start breathing below 10. And as the breathing cycle slows down, the lifespan increases because our lifespan is connected with number of breathing cycles and not with the age. So sun gazing actually leads you to slower breathing and also leads you to permanent meditation. The question is about the dreams, how sun gazing affects. People who have worries or disturbed minds, they only get the dreams. One who is mentally healthy, mentally peaceful, he will never get the dreams. So, sun gazing actually frees you from all the dreams. You are in meditation always. One who is in meditation round the clock, he doesn't have dreams or anything. How much sleep do you get? How much sleep do I get is the question. Yes, sleep is also not that much required for a sun gazer. We require sleep just to refresh ourselves from the fatigue, the tiredness. But sun gazing gives you a lot of energy, so you never get tired. So even person can go without sleep or less sleep his entire life. So just as hunger disappears, even sleep also disappears after some time for a sun gazer. You don't have jet lags also. Even if you travel in different time zones, you are not even affected by the bad climates, the viruses, epidemics, and so on. See, dream is only an unbalanced mind, those who are thinking or what you read and all those, out of that only they come, whether good or bad. A person with stable mind who is always in meditation, he is always with the God. He doesn't get the dream. Dreams at all? Not even like you don't have REM? No, nothing. I don't have. That is my experience. That is what Vedas also say. Yes. But otherwise, what is the use of meditation then? Mm -hmm. When you are meditating, your mind is free from everything. It's only in one object, the God, that you are meditating. Then why should you have dreams? Mm -hmm. In the Tibetan tradition, this dream is the pathway to enhance meditation, and to God. Not something to do. I don't comment on any other traditions. This is my experience and this is what I feel, that one who is in meditative stage around the clock, he will not have the dreams. He is free from that. My message is for everyone because I like everyone. So is my message is not for particular country or particular community or particular division or section or anything. What I have to request all the listeners is, give a fair trial to this cost-free, guru-free practice. This has all the advantages. Don't get scared with the word sun and gazing, the sun gazing. Sun is a medicine when it is safe, and a lot of people are getting benefits. So give a fair trial to it and be careful to do it only during safe times and be slow and steady. That will give all the benefits. Yes, sun gazing, all suggestions are given on my website. A lot of other people have made supplementary websites on sun gazing based on my website. and. While sun gazing, one has to remove the glasses for that time only. 
and go according to the instructions there. But if one has got fixed lenses, lenses inside the house, uh, eye, let it remain because then they become part of the eye. And just go with few seconds, not minutes, people misunderstand. What I suggest is start with 10 seconds first day. It's only a normal relaxed look at the sun. Just as you gaze your TV and computer, you are just gazing the sun. There's no difference between looking at the TV screen and the sun. I can blink and flicker. And every day you are just increasing by 5 or 10 seconds. You may miss some days also. Don't worry about that. Just go continue whenever sun is safely available. So, kindly read the details on my website, solarhealing.com. There are other websites also, like sungazing101.com and so on.